Okay, everyone, we're going to go to easybib.com, um, which is where I am here, and we're going to make a works cited page, and this is how we're going to do it. You have to a log in. You'll see a log in or sign up buttons up here on the top. If you've already signed up with EasyBib before, uh, then you should be able to log in. Hopefully you used your Google account. If you did not use your Google account, I would recommend that you sign up using your Google account. So your school Google email should be linked to EasyBib. Um, once you've done that, then you're going to get to this page here. You'll notice that it, the default is MLA 7, which is what we're going to use, the seventh edition of MLA, because it's the free version. So uh, the other ones you have to pay for. Um, this is where you get to choose the kind of source that you are citing. You have mostly websites and books. You may also have an encyclopedia. To find an encyclopedia, you go to all 59 options, and it's right down near the bottom. Where is that encyclopedia article right here? So let's do one of those just as a test. I'm going to click on it. And now I'm not I'm not ever going to use this blue box. I'm going to use the gray boxes because I have information on my bib sheets that I can use to fill in these gray boxes. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, the article title is going to be the thing that you looked up. So it might be, for example, airline pilot It might be the title of the article. Um, if it's an encyclopedia, it probably did not have an author. So leave that blank. If you had a book here with an author, you would put their name here. And if you had two authors, you would say add another contributor and it would give you a second box. But we're not going to fill that in because we have an encyclopedia. Um, for th here, we're going to write in career discovery encyclopedia um, because uh, that's one that many of us have known or have used. Um, is it well known? Um, I would say, uh, let's say it is, uh, and then we don't have to worry about anything else there. The publisher is going to be, um, I'm not sure who it is. I'm going to guess maybe it might, oh, darn it, it might be um, Ferguson. And it might be New York, um, and it might be, let's say, 2010. Um, I'm guessing on all of that, so don't use any of those things. Uh, if you've used Career Discovery, you got to look it up. Um, pages, you're going to leave blank. We didn't add any of that. And once you've got it all filled in, you're going to get your citation. Um, oh, disable blocking the site. Oh, no, no, I don't want to do that. No, no, no. Create citation without disabling. That's what you have to do. All right, so there's all kinds of junk that pops up on this because it's we're using the free version. You have to just keep closing all that stuff out. So what you've got is your citation finished here. You have uh, also listed at the bottom. At the bottom here is where all of them are going to be listed together, and this one will be the last one that you made. Um, once you get to here, you can go ahead and make your next one. So you can uh, leave it on website, or you can choose book if you used a book. Uh, let's just say that we used a book. Then we're going to click manual manual site. All right, so if you choose one of these other things, then you have to choose manual site. And what manual site will do is it will give you these gray boxes to fit uh, to fill in. And of course you got to get get rid of that junk. Um, we're going to cite. Now here's where you have to think about what kind of book did you use? Did you use the whole book or did you was it a reference book? If it was a reference book and you used maybe just a chapter of it that was just about your job, then you're going to choose a chapter or section. And here's where you put your authors again. Um, you can add a second author like I showed you before. This is where your book title would be. Maybe it's um, careers for kids who like um, science. And we probably are going to leave this blank. Uh, your publisher might be, um, I don't know, um, uh, Berkshire Publishing. And let's say it's in Chicago. And whoops, spell correctly. And then it's, uh, let's say it's 2015. We're guessing. Um, I'm making this up again. So one of the things you'll notice is that when I'm filling these boxes and I'm making sure that I capitalize correctly, so you need to do that. And then you're going to go ahead and create your citation, uh, create citation without disabling. Uh, all right, so there's another one. And there you can see that the both of them now are listed at the bottom. So you're going to continue doing that until you finish. If you have a website, go to manual site. It's already on website as a default. And then you're going to put source type content originally published on a website. Um, leave it just as that. 
uh, the article title is what you looked up might be um, pilots rule the skies is the name of whoops of the site that you used maybe it didn't have an author or maybe it did you put it in there um, the website title that is the site where you got the information might be uh, let's say it's career cruising um, and you can leave the publisher sponsor out you can put in the URL you have that uh, pasted so you can paste it in um, but you don't have to uh, actually let's leave it out because it the new MLA asks you not to put it in there so um, the day it was published is the the year or copyright date that you have on there I think it just says 2016 on career cruising I'm not sure though the day you access access it though is important that is the day that you found it so it might be um, the 11th day of November in 2016 was the day you found that source and then you're going to create it oh, and get rid of that junk and there you have the latest one again so then you can see that all of my sources are listed down here at the bottom you'll see that you have quotation marks around the the names of the articles as it should be uh, the titles of books are in italics as they should be all of the punctuation is in the citation as it should be so when it's done when you're finished with all your sources then you're ready to export it so you go to export here and you go to save to Google Docs and uh, at Google Docs it is going to um, give you this you know you have to link it to your Google Docs so that goes into your Google Drive and once you do that it's going to go ahead and throw that whole bibliography into your Google Drive um, you can say uh, uploaded successfully go to Google Docs so I'm gonna open it in now it's gone to Google Docs and opened it now you'll notice it's already cited um, or it says works cited at the top correctly so there's a title and everything is already in alphabetical order like it should be so everything looks exactly as it should be except this is a separate document from my draft so in order to um, make sure this is at the bottom of my career paper I have to take all of this and I have to copy it control C and then I have to go back to my career paper I have to find my career paper in um, in my Google Drive which is here somewhere there it is my sample career paper and then I have to scroll down to the very bottom of this paper when it loads and I have to create a new page at the very very bottom and when I create that new page I'm gonna put my work cited on that new page it's still loading here so um, you'll also notice that my paper is in a different font so here's the here's the uh, original uh, work cited that I had on there let's say I didn't have one already let's say I needed to add one I would go ahead and enter till I got to a new page and come on it's not loading very fast uh, there it is it's at the top of a new page at the bottom of my document and I'm gonna go ahead and control V there's the work cited I just created now the last thing I have to do is I have to make this font match the rest of the font in my paper right so I think my paper is in Calibri um, and so I have to go ahead and make this in Calibri too so that it matches everything else on my paper right so there I'll have my um, that check I'm oh gonna actually I have an extra page in there don't I so um, I can get rid of this so you're gonna backspace it until it's um, there there we go so now I have it uh, your work cited has to be that has to be centered just like that okay so now there's my old work cited from before and now here's my new work cited I just pasted in but I changed the font so it matched correctly that's what you need to do and then you are ready to go um, so I hope this was helpful good luck